Fall Chinook, baby. August 18th, 2024. The Snake River confluence with the Clearwater River. A confluence is where two of equal size rivers come together. And there are mass amounts of Fall Chinook ranging all the way down from Bowie 10 all the way up to the Clearwater River and Snake River as we speak right now. Tens of thousands of fish are already coming over Bonneville Dam daily, as well as you can watch the chart that we're gonna go over in just a little bit, them moving up and up and up river. Fall Chinook, unlike Spring Chinook, travel extremely fast up the river system because they do not have all the time in the world like Springers do to get to their spawning grounds. So they are flying up the river. Welcome back to another Walking on Water tutorial. This is gonna be a fishing report slash how-to guide wrapped up all into one video. I've had a bunch of people that I know fishing up there, posting in my fishing group, Walking on Water Fishing on Facebook, and they have been filling me in with all the juicy details from the 18th to now today, the 22nd of August. And so there's been a lot of fish caught and there's been a lot of successful people as well as a lot of bites and some missed fish as well. But we're gonna go over all of that in this video. We're gonna talk setups. We're gonna go into the computer. I'm gonna show you guys on a map, the confluence itself. So if you're new to that area, you can understand what we're talking about. We're talking about fishing the confluence outside of Lewiston and Clarkston. What is a confluence? A confluence is where two rivers of equal size actually technically collide into one another. Like we see here on the map right here in front of us. We have Lewiston on the right, Clarkson on the left, and we have the Snake River that separates the two of them, as well as the Clearwater River that's running downstream towards the Snake River, colliding into it as the snake travels down towards the Columbia River, so on and so forth, down into the ocean. Fall Chinook have been consistently since the 18th of August been running up the Columbia River, as we can see right here on the Columbia River Dam counts. Right here at Bonneville Dam, as you can see, on the 18th, 7,687 fish, all the way to the 21st with 9,391, about 38,000 plus fish have been coming over Bonneville Dam just in the last four days, which is absolutely insanity. And these dams in between the Bonneville Dam and Lower Granite Dam right here, as you can see, it's highlighted on the screen. We've had, since the 18th, about 1,000 to 1,200 fish come over. But those tens of thousands of fish that have been traveling from Bonneville Dam upriver will soon be hitting the confluence right there at Lewiston. So if you guys are planning a trip of any kind, make sure you guys are utilizing this piece of information so you can see when the most optimal time to go fish for these big fall Chinook. We get a three fish limit at the confluence hatchery or wild per day and no cap on the season limit for fall Chinook. And so you guys need to be out there fishing these fish. As you can see here on the map, Idaho and Washington is separated by a line. If you are down here in the Washington side on the Snake River, you will only be able to utilize one fishing rod at a time per person. If you are above that, you will be able to utilize on the Idaho side, two fishing rods per person. This is a very easy laid back fishery. It's not like the springtime where the Snake River has a bunch of runoff and rain and is just pumping water downstream. And so it's a nice, easy, relaxable, fun fishery for everybody involved. And so you guys got to get out there and do a little bit of fishing down there. It's going to be super fun. We're prepping right now for that seven day trip down to the confluence where we are going to go put the hurt on some fall Chinook. So hope to see you guys there. The fishing report for the confluence in the Clearwater River goes as follows. I have not been down to the Clearwater River, to the Snake River, to the confluence yet this year. Like I said, I'm in my office today planning out what I'm going to utilize and use to be successful when I do get down there. But according to my fishing Facebook group, as well as many other Washington and Idaho fishing Facebook groups, even with that small number of 150 on the opening day to the 350 that have been coming over Lower Granite Dam, there has been a steady influx of bites for very many boats that are out there on the water and they are catching them on anything from Brad's, the Brad's Originals, like I said earlier, the Spin Fish by Yakima, as well as some people are even, even hover fishing for some of these fish as the bite dies down a little bit earlier in the morning. So 
there are tons of fish to be caught. I have one friend that was down there and has been down there for a few days and they went one for four down there just in the morning time. And yes, you say one for four, that's not very good. Well, in all actuality, you're using barbless hooks. And when you're using barbless hooks, you have to have constant pressure on these fish at all times. And even with constant pressure comes fishy fish being lost just because they're barbless hooks. They turn the wrong way one time, that hook is just gonna fall right out of their face. And so one for four early morning on opening day is a fantastic way to start a 2024 fall Chinook season. I mean, that's absolutely amazing with 150 a day fish over the dam. And that just tells me one thing, fishing is only going to get a thousand times better. And there are tens of thousands of fish moving in. I had three different people tell me that they have caught fish already down there and the season has only been open for a literal four days. So multiple people catching fish, multiple reports of people catching fish, a ton of them on super baits. Everyone's using barbless hooks. It's a good time. So fishing report number one, the confluence at the Clearwater and Snake River. The breakdown of my rod and my reel Akuma Coldwater and I like the Akuma SST nine foot heavy action rod for these big fall Chinook that are traveling so far up the river. I like a little bit stiffer rod, a nice long rod because we are 360 fishing. And when I say 360, of course, I mean short bus super series 360 flashers. And that's why I like a nice long kind of stiffer rod so I can really see that consistent pulse that those super series 360s give when you're trolling through the water system as well as it's paired with a 50 pound braided line and you can you can blood knot on a little leader or something like that but that's not necessary at all run the braided line down to a bumper so you'll run the braided line down to a bumper just like this one like so this is a 250 pound bumper it is a 24 inch bumper some people like to run 18 some people like to run 20. I'm a 24 guy myself. I think the 24 has been the most consistent throughout all salmon fisheries. And so I like to stick with my guns. Obviously, if I have a lot more people in a boat, then we can start switching stuff up, 18, 20s, so on and so forth when you have a lot of presentations in the water. But since we're just running a couple presentations up there, we're gonna go with 24 inch bumpers, okay? Then of course, down to your super series flasher like this one right here, and then, Super baits are king and the Brad's mini cut plug is going to be an absolute killer up there as well as the Brad's original super bait. This is going to be an absolute slayer. This red and gold flake is an amazing, I don't know if it's, I think it might be called hot tamale or something like that, but I don't know the actual name of the super bait itself, but this red and gold flake is going to be an absolute killer and there's a whole variety of brads that you guys can choose from. Just go check them out online if you've never seen any of their products before. But there's a million different ways to rig these brads. There is absolutely a million different ways and I have multiple videos guys on how to rig up every single brads that you will ever need to utilize and just go over to my channel, check it out. Um, three different ways to set up Brad super baits is a video. Also fall Chinook salmon fishing is another video that has multiple different setups of these in it. Exactly how to tie up the knots, which is also on my channel, how to tie up a non-slip mooching rig. Very informational, super easy, super quick, and it will be very beneficial if you guys go over there and watch that. But do not forget about the kokanee cut plug. Yes, it's small, but there is a million different ways you guys can rig this up as well. Tuna, so on and so forth. And the Chinook, fall Chinook, even the big Chinook can't resist the little guy either. So don't forget about that one as well. This is a very fast and quick basic rundown of what we are going to be utilizing up there at the confluence. Also, garlic bloody tuna. Everything that I put inside of my tuna brine I love running a salt-based tuna brine, so I'm gonna add a lot of kosher salt to it. I'm gonna run some sort of garlic, whether it's a um, salmon slammer or um, a salmon blend by Procure, or I'm gonna add a little bit of this garlic bloody tuna in it. And now maybe the fish aren't hitting on garlic. You can definitely run just the 
tuna itself as well. You don't have to get caught up with the whole brining aspect, but I look at it like this. <clears throat> Those fish are coming from the salt water. They just made an extremely long journey. You start adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of sulfite, maybe even a little bit of scent that reminds them of that ocean, gets those senses going. And an instinctual fish, like a, like a salmon that travels so far up these rivers to spawn based off instincts, is going to instinctually feel like that's gonna be a nice bite that it wants to take. So salt, tuna and oil, tuna and oil, tuna and oil, tuna and oil, salt, and a nice scent, throw a garlic scent in there, throw a non-garlic scent in there, and go put them in some Brad's mini cut plugs or original super bait, or you could just go with the OG cut plug like this one right here, the Mountain Dew, and they will absolutely do work for you guys up there at the Confluence. So, little recap, <clears throat> heavy nine foot rod. I like to go down to a 250 pound bumper like this, down to a short bus super series flasher, down to some sort of super bait. You could use a Yakima quick fish, you could use Brad's, Brad's Mini, Brad's Original, Brad's Cut Plug, and of course the Brad's Kokanee. And there's so many different options that you guys can throw at these fish when it comes to super baits. Get out there, put lines in the water, and enjoy some of those monster fall Chinook. If you guys enjoy these videos at all, and you're gonna be up at the confluence fishing, make sure you guys say hi if you see me out there. Also, if you guys enjoy these videos, smash the like button, share them out to some friends and family, some people that are going on a fishing trip that might need a, a little quick reminder, a quick little tip on some stuff that we throw down up there at the Confluence um, outside of Clarkston and Lewis in Idaho. Also, join the private fishing Facebook group, Walking on Water. I did start up a Patreon. If you guys are interested at all in supporting the channel, there's a few different options of subscriptions that you guys could click on. Um, on the patreon itself some give you early access to videos some give you hoochies some give you an, op an opportunity to help pick destinations and places that you want want to see me go fish so on and so forth once we get a few subscriptions built up i'm going to start releasing those membership based only videos for you guys that are supporting the channel directly and i appreciate if you guys would just at least go check it out if not that's 100 percent fine with me i love how things are going as it is right now and i couldn't be more blessed Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Walking on Water. This is the confluence of the snake in the Clearwater Rivers fishing report slash how to set up guide, baby. I'll see you guys on the water.